So since I saw Child 31, I have cried five times. Are you oh And I am planning to adopt five um, <laughs> little African babies. But that was actually my plan forever, but I only wanted to adopt two, but now I'm getting like five. No, I will not get five. That's a very bad plan. Are you kidding me? I can barely handle myself. Yeah, I know. Um, I was like, wow, okay, Brooke. New leaf, new you. <laughs> And I'm back this week for another video. Um, this time it's a uh, painting inspired makeup with Brooke, whom you may remember because she brought all her makeup in in my previous video and told the whole world how much she loved burgundy smoky eyes. So today I'm doing a painting, this watercolor painting that I actually got third place for uh, sophomore year because like my school is this little art contest. Um, so I'm going to copy the painting and I'm also copying the shading too because one side of the face is way more shaded than the other. I will say that this one was probably less successful than Jillian's in that like I don't think it super resembled the painting and although the shadows were the same Brooke kind of looked like she came straight out of a horror movie but uh, I decided to upload it anyway because I think the footage can be kind of funny and why not you know I tried. So um, I'm using white, yellow, green, brown but mostly white um, and a little bit of peach to put foundation on Brooke's skin um, because the painting is a lot paler than she is even though she herself is pretty pale. Then I used a taupey brown color to add in the shading around the chin and the cheekbones where the shadows on the painting were most prominent. Um, I did a lot of contouring and I also contoured Brooke's nose a little bit which she really liked actually because she thinks she's like a big nose or something. Just made the tip of the nose a little darker like I do with my drawings, although I did not make it red because for this uh, painting the nose isn't very red. Hello everyone. Guys, look at this fine. Okay, uh, I'm filming a video right now. Okay, look at this fine. What the hell do you think you're doing? Look at this fine. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> What'd she say? I don't know, I was showing you that specific line. <laughs> Okay, you don't even have to edit that part out, I was just like, ah, I just fell backwards. So then I just added a little more contouring to the nose and also to the, um, the eye socket, like right where the bridge of the eyebrow starts, because this girl has pretty deep set eyes and Brooke does not have deep set eyes. You're like liking your nose like this, you kind of, I feel like you're kind of contemplating doing this as a regular contour thing. She has like a, like a sometimes like big not good nose or some shit. So again, I'm adding more uh, contouring to where the eyebrow and the eye socket is, making it a little deeper. Also, one side of the nose, I think for you, that would be the right side of the nose, has some more intense shading because the light is coming in from the left side of the face and casting shadow onto the right. So I darken the left side of the left, yeah, the left side of the nose. I, I always forget like what the right and left is, so I have to um, hold up my hands and like the L, like you do in kindergarten, and the one hand that makes the right facing L is the left and the backwards one is the right. It's kind of sad I still have to do that, and, but you know, some people never grow out of kindergarten. I also didn't learn how to read like clocks in kindergarten, so my kindergarten wasn't that great. So now I'm just adding a little bit of the same taupey brown to the inner corner of the eyes to make the eyes look more recessed and I eventually turned it into a cool toned smoky eye to balance out the whole look. Like, literally, how would a push curriculum even begin to approach the disaster that is 2017? Oh, I know. Our kids are going to be looking at this textbook and be like, what the actual As per usual, um, all my people that I paint and draw have really dark circles under their eyes and Brooke doesn't, so I had to go in with a brownie, like, purple shade and add some under her eyes to make her look a mo little more tired. Also, just still more definition around, like, the bridge of the nose because the shadows are quite dark there in the painting. Um, and more contouring on the cheek. The chin contour is like a little too strong, I think. I should have balanced that more with a stronger cheek contour. But, uh, what can I do? The past is in the past. Um, so then I went in with this brown, oh, no, this was with like a light yellow shade. I was trying to highlight the nose and the high points of the face, and then I took a sort of purple brown shade and I put that on Brooke's lips sort of with a gradient like the Korean uh, what's it like Korean popsicle lips or whatever just cuz the girl in the picture has like a pretty intense berry lip but it's also very diffused at the outer edges and for this I'm just using a little sponge tip applicator that I got with a makeup revolution palette 
that is actually really good. Um, so I then just set Brooke's entire face with a big fluffy brush and my Rimmel Stay Matte powder. And then I took a, the dark brown shade from the Kat Von D Monarch palette and I'm just packing that onto the lid and then blending it out with a fluffy blending brush and a light taupe shade. The eye is very cool toned, uh, which is unusual because uh, warm tone like red smoky eyes are pretty in but I think it fits better than, with the look when it's cool tone and Then I took some dark purple from Brooke's sweet peach palette just to deepen things up Started to fill in Brooke's eyebrows because the powder had and the foundation had gotten in them making them look lighter than they actually were But that was a mistake because Brooke is an eyebrow person who is very particular about her eyebrows actually What are you doing to my eyebrows? I'm just putting gel on them to make them dark again because they're like Do you have like a clean spoolie? This is not how I do my eyebrows. It's okay. It's, it's part of the what you're doing. I don't like it. Can I have a clean spoolie? It's stressing me out. I'm sorry. I don't like how you do my eyebrows. I then took the pencil Anastasia 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 uh, Brow Wiz and a little um, like pointed brush and the cool same cool brown eyeshadow and painstakingly painstakingly applied reapplied freckles to Brooke's face, which is kind of funny because she actually has a lot of freckles naturally, but I decided that they weren't like good enough or whatever. I covered them making the foundation paler, so then I had to put them all back on. And then I took a little um, brush again and I added more dark purple shadow to the inside of her lips to do a better gradient. And that is pretty much it for this week's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the look. I know it's not necessarily something you can really wear out. Well, I mean, I guess you could, minus the crazy contouring. Um, it is different from what I post again, but I hope you guys like this series that I'm doing. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice week. Sorry this video is late again.